Let's talk about one good turn deserves another and how that impacts your business. Sharon horn from here, also known as Jam Grandma. Today, the idiom or expression that came to mind and I want to talk about is it's actually a, a universal law, the law of reciprocity or karma. One good turn deserves another, which means a turn is a deed or an action. If somebody does something good for you or does you a favor, you should repay them and pay them back. And we use this in our businesses all the time. We give out information, we give value, we solve problems for people, and we want them to give us money in return, right? Isn't that actually an example of the law of reciprocity? And that's the foundation of all of our businesses. We give something of value and we expect something of value in return. Now, this expression, of course, is played out in our businesses, but how can we use it to even take that a step further? How can we use it to make our businesses even more successful, to grow them and to supersize them? Well, by adding more value, by finding other ways, additional ways to serve our people, the people we're serving already, to get them coming back to our businesses for more, to help them solve more and additional problems, to give them more value in the way that we do serve them. Um, we can add things. A lot of times we always wanna just sell our product or service, our main thing. But by bundling that with other things, by adding different things that help our customers to consume our products better, to use our services better, or to actually consume them and use them, because sometimes we know that we sell things to people and they actually don't use them. They sit on a shelf or they just you know, go to waste because they never get utilized. Well, if they never use them, they're never going to come back to us for more because they're not going to find out what the follow-up problems were that were caused by them using this product or service that we sell. And they're not going to actually use up and consume and run out of whatever our product or service it is that we might be selling them. Now, again, speaking in general terms, because all of our businesses are different. What we do is different for people. But overall, we all solve a problem or fill a need for people. Um, so, how can you, how do you use this one good turn deserves another philosophy? You know, if I give you something of value, you will give me something of return of value. How does that work? How does that play out in your business? Um, you know, we can have that philosophy that if we put good into the world, we get good back, or we can believe that we need to, you know, pay people back if they treat us poorly. Now, what I've found in my lifetime is the more good I put out, the more I give to people, the more I share, the more good that I get back in my life. And there have been times when bad things have happened to me and I'm like, where the heck did that come from? But that happens, things in our life, that good and bad things happen and how we respond to them is what's really important. Um, this expression, one good turn deserves another, has been around in some way, shape or form since the early 1400s. Any expression, any saying, any word, any practice or habit that's been part of humankind for that long is totally and positively impacting if not us individually which it totally is it's impacting the people that we do business with and we want to understand the psychology and what makes people tick how they work how they think how they feel especially how they feel about our products and services in order to serve them better so we know that if we give them things of value and more than just the dollars that they exchange for us, it's almost a no-brainer to do business with us. If we offer them incredible value compared to the competition for solving a problem that they have or filling a need, they're gonna do business with us instead of other businesses or other business people. Unless, of course, they don't like us. And the only reason they wouldn't like us is because we're not following the law of reciprocity. We're not giving more than we receive. We're not putting out good energy, good vibes, good things, good products and services, good delivery times, good all of our business systems. If our business systems or our customer service or our attitude and um, our brands and the, the way we present ourselves doesn't resonate or doesn't click with people, then they, they might not do business with us. But we always want to you know, give and pay things forward knowing that the better things that we put out into the world, those are the things that we're going to get back. Will they come back from the exact same people that we talk to or we give it to? No, not necessarily, but they will come back. 
So how do you feel about this? Do you believe one good turn deserves another? Or do you believe more in the eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, revenge philosophy? Share in the comments below because I would love to know. Go out, make it a fabulous day. Look for ways to do good turns for other people and watch how quickly those good deeds are returned to you. Take care. Catch you tomorrow.